In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on October 10, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Nashville Predators vs. Tampa Bay Lightning The Nashville Predators face the Tampa Bay Lightning to kick off the 2023-2024 NHL season. The Predators are looking to rebound from a 42-32-8 season where they finished in 5th place in the Central Division and missed the playoffs. The Lightning went 46-30-6 last season to make the playoffs but head into this season without starting goaltender Andre Vasilevsky who will miss multiple weeks with an injury. The Predators hope to make noise in the Central Division while the Lightning look to remain competitive to start the year and the upcoming game should be a good one as a result. The NHL has returned for the 2023-2024 and it kicks off with a three-game slate. The season starts with a matchup between the Nashville Predators and the Tampa Bay Lightning and it should be a fun one. Tampa Bay will look to get set up for a much deeper playoff run than their first round exit a year ago, while Nashville will continue to tinker and develop their lineup as they go through a retooling process. Even without their starting goaltender in Andre Vasilevsky, Tampa Bay got a much deeper team and should be able to overcome a goalie mismatch with Juice Saros in the other crease. Expect the big names on Tampa Bay like Nikita Kucherov, Steven Stankos, and Victor Hedman to do their thing and lead the way because Nashville is likely to end up in the bottom half of the league is a retooling team. The Predators are looking to bounce back this season and it's easy to think that they'll pull off the upset and provide great odds in the process. However, the Lightning look to step up at home and control this game from the opening puck drop. The Lightning should find the back of the netted will with Nikita Kucherov, Steven Stankos, and the rest of the forward unit creating open shots with great puck movement and a strong offensive zone presence. The Lightning should limit the Predators' offense, which averaged only 2.72 goals per game last season, with Viktor Hedman, Mikhail Sergeyev, and the rest of the defense stepping up in the defensive zone and limiting shots on the net to allow goaltender Jonas Johansson to make plenty of big saves. Each team should put forth a strong effort, so likely won't end as a blowout, so the Tampa Bay Lightning money line is our full game side pick. Both teams will score in this contest. The offense was very good for the Lightning last season. Tampa Bay finished last year ranking 8th in goals per game and 13th in shots per game. Nikita Kucherov led the team with 113 points last season and he finished the season top 5 in points. Andrei Vasilevsky will miss about the first 8 weeks of the NHL season after having back surgery in late September. Jonas Johansson is expected to start in the net until Vasilevsky returns. Nashville will take advantage of Vasilevsky being out and score on Johansson. The over has hit in two of the last three matchups between these two teams. The Lightning have a dominant offense and both teams look to find the back of the net throughout this game. The Predators look to create plenty of scoring chances against a Lightning defense that allowed 3.07 goals per game last season and will be without their star goaltender Andrei Vasilevsky as Philip Forsberg and Thomas Novak generate shots on the net while Roman Josie makes plays from the point. The Lightning, who averaged 3.41 goals per game last season, should run up the score with Nikita Kucherov, Steven Stamkos, Braden Point, and the rest of the forward unit gashing the Predators in space and creating plenty of open shots off of quick passes while Viktor Hedman and Mikhail Sergeyev create scoring chances with big plays from the blue line. Before the injury to Andre Vasilevsky, we knew it would be hard to fill Tampa Bay's net. Now that they have a backup for a long period of time, that may not be the case. Nashville should have ample opportunity to score as they've got some great offensive weapons. The Lightning will be facing an elite goaltender in Saros, but their squad is filled with even more offensive weaponry. The top players on Tampa Bay are some of the best in the entire NHL, and they have proven they can beat any goaltender on any team. This will be a high-scoring game with both offenses stepping up. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. 
Chicago Blackhawks vs. Pittsburgh Penguins. After nearly a four-month layoff, the puck drops on the 2023-2024 NHL season with a battle between the latest generational talent and a previous one on the ice in the Steel City. The Chicago Blackhawks are on the road as they travel to take on the Pittsburgh Penguins Tuesday night. Chicago finished the 2022-2023 season last in the Central Division with a 26-49-7 record as they missed the postseason for the third straight season and fifth in the last six years. Pittsburgh ended the 2022-2023 season 40-31-11 to to finish fifth in the Metropolitan Division. They missed the playoffs for the first time since 2005-2006. to In the last 10 meetings, the Blackhawks own a 7-2-1 advantage, including a 5-2 road win in the most recent meeting on April 11th. Chicago is in a rebuild mode and will likely be losing a lot of games this season. There's no question that rookie sensation Connor Bedard is fun to watch and can become the next best thing to hit the league, but there's only so much an 18-year-old can do. The Penguins also made quite a few changes in the offseason. They found a new GM and president of hockey operations with Kyle Dubas and he wasted no time in becoming a fan favorite by trading for Norris Trophy winner Eric Carlson. The Penguins are trying to give Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin and Chris Letting one more run at a Stanley Cup, starting with this first game of the regular season. Both teams will likely be rusty out of the gate, but the Penguins are the better team on paper. Tristan Jerry is a good enough goalie to keep the puck out of his net, but the same can't be said for Petter M. Razik. Pittsburgh reloaded for potentially one last run at a cup with their core of Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin, and company. They have been good to great for the last 15 years, but the fact remains that they have struggled against a Chicago team that has been toiling in obscurity in recent years. Going just 2-7-1 to to one in their last 10 meetings doesn't inspire a ton of confidence. With that said, Bedard has to let the game come to him instead of trying to do everything. Hopefully Hall, Foligno, and Perry can keep him on an even keel in the early going of his career. As well as Chicago has performed against Pittsburgh the last few seasons, it's tough to have faith in a team that has M. Razik as their starting netminder. Despite the Blackhawks improving in the offseason, I still expect them to struggle this year. One player in the addition of Bedard, no matter how talented the young kid is, will not make enough of a difference in his first year with the team to make Chicago have that much of an improvement. He's the huge piece for them to build their team around in the future. The Penguins, especially offensively, are the much better team here. They generated the fourth most expected goals and the second most high danger shots in the NHL last year and I expect them to score easily on Emrazic and the Blackhawks defense that allowed the fifth most goals in the NHL a season ago, giving up the seventh most expected goals and the fourth most high danger shots in the league. I considered the Blackhawks and the big plus money simply because it's the first game of the season and guys are just starting to get their feet wet. However, the Blackhawks aren't expected to be very good this season and this is a tough opener on the road against a Penguin side that usually wins games they're supposed to win and has a good home crowd. If the Penguins are going to right the wrongs from last season, it should start at home against a possible bottom feeder. This game can get out of hand in a hurry, so the Pittsburgh Penguins to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. It's no secret that the Chicago Blackhawks are a below average team, but can they score enough goals to help push the game score past the set total? The Pittsburgh Penguins have a handful of elite players who can score freely and the addition of Eric Carlson makes them even more dangerous. They are likely to have a healthy amount of scoring chances, but they need to convert them. One factor that may help them find the net more often is Chicago netminder Petter M. Razik. The veteran isn't a great goalie and he's on a pretty bad hockey team. Chicago is set to give up chances and it's hard to imagine in a scenario in which M. Razik keeps the puck out. As good as Connor Bedard is, the kid can't do it alone. He's going to get chances to create a fence, but can he convert them? The Penguins aren't going to let him run loose because he can be a difference maker. Last season, the over in Blackhawks games went 42-36-4. They had a terrible defense, giving up the fifth most goals, seventh most expected goals, and the fourth most high danger shots in the NHL last year. Pittsburgh's offense was good, scoring the 15th most goals, while generating the fourth most expected goals and the second most high danger shots in the league. It's early in the season, so both teams will be rusty, which should lead to quality chances on each side. The expectation is that this will be a high scoring affair, and if the Blackhawks can take their chances, a high scoring affair is likely in this one. The Pens should score at ease here, and I expect Bedard and the Chicago offense to generate at least a couple of goals to push this game past the six and a half goal total. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. 
Seattle Kraken vs. Vegas Golden Knights, the Seattle Kraken took a major step forward in 2022-2023, making the first playoff run in their team's history. And now, after a solid summer, they'll look to take another leap this season as they open up the year on the road against the Vegas Golden Knights, who will be celebrating their first Stanley Cup in franchise history. Given how tight it's expected to be at the top of the Pacific Division in 2023-2024, every game will be absolutely critical, and on the big stage of opening night, both of these teams will look to be putting their best foot forward, so this should be a great advertisement for the game as the puck drops on the 2023-2024 season. The Seattle Kraken does not care about any banner raising on Tuesday. Seattle pays a visit to T-Mobile Arena, where the Las Vegas Golden Knights will be having all of the pomp and circumstance of opening night. They'll be raising their championship banner from the Stanley Cup victory. Traditionally, that benefits the visiting team, especially when that team is a good one like Seattle. Vegas will be a little less focused, a little bit out of its pre-game routine, and don't be surprised to see the Kraken get off to a red-hot start out of the gate. Of course, the past couple of seasons, after a slower start to begin the game, the defending champ has defended home ice, sending the fans away happy with two points. Last season, the Avalanche raised a banner, then dropped the Chicago Blackhawks 5-2. Vegas lost on home ice last November 25th by a 4-2 score against Seattle, but the Golden Knights have picked up seven wins in eight all-time meetings between these newest NHL franchises. The Vegas Golden Knights has also won six of the past seven meetings by two or more goals, although playing the goal line in the first game is a bit ambitious. While the Kraken became a very competitive team in 2022-2023, they're yet to step on the big stage like Vegas, and with a hostile crowd that's ready to celebrate their maiden Stanley Cup victory, this will be perhaps the toughest environment this young Seattle team has ever faced. Unfortunately for Seattle, the Golden Knights have had their number over the past two years, as the defending champs are 7-1 in eight head-to-head -head meetings against the Kraken, and while the road team are 5-1 in their past six meetings, the Knights are a heavy favorite, as they have been in all eight meetings between them. The Golden Knights have won their last two preseason contests, outlasting the Colorado Avalanche 4-3 at home and the Los Angeles Kings 7-4 on the road. On the other side, the Kraken have dropped two of their previous three preseason games, sandwiching a 2-1 victory over the Vancouver Canucks with a pair of losses against the Edmonton Oilers, 4-1 and 3-1. The Knights, fresh off winning Stanley Cup Finals, have a roster that's built for another deep run. Their goaltending situation is rock solid with Adden Hill, who posted a 2.17 goals against average and .932 save percentage in last year's playoffs, sharing the net with Logan Thompson. The team's depth is a key asset, with stars such as Phil Kessel, William Carlson, Jack Eichel, Mark Stone, and more. The defense, anchored by Shea Theodore, Alec Martinez, and Alex Piatrangelo, is among the league's best. While the Kraken have a balanced attack and solid defense, they lack the experience and depth that the Knights possess. Over the last two years, the Golden Knights have dominated the Kraken. The reigning NHL champions must be fired up to start their title defense on the right foot, especially because they are playing in front of the home crowd. Look for the Golden Knights to start a little slow offensively before picking up the pace and pulling away for two points to open the new campaign. So the Vegas Golden Knights' money line is our full game side pick. While the talent and goal for both of these teams is solid, neither have an elite, game-winning goaltender in net on opening night. And with a talented forward group for both teams that are highlighted by players like Jack Eichel, Jonathan Marchessault, Jared McCann, and Matty Beneers, this should be a game that features plenty of goals. In their last seven games of the 2022-2023 season, the over for the Kraken was 6-1, while the Golden Knights oversat at 4-0 in their final four games. And in their eight head-to-head -head meetings, the over sits at 6-2, so expect a high-scoring matchup to highlight pub drop on the 2023-2024 season. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.